What's going on YouTube and welcome back to our channel here at Vagabond Builds and today we're bringing you another comparison video between the 2024 Atlas and to my right I have the SEL trim and to my left I have the SE with a tech package and we're going to be talking about the differences and similarities of both these cars and also bringing you the stylish makeover that Volkswagen brings over to the all new 2024 Atlas. But before we do, because it is not a sponsor video and we truly appreciate you guys' support, we got two buttons for you guys to push. Tap that like button, subscribe to our channel. We truly appreciate your guys' support here at Vagabond Builds. If you got something for us to film, here's our email below. Email us and we can talk details later. Also, a special shout out and a thanks to Nilo Volkswagen here in Sacramento, California for providing us both of these cars for this review. Also, guys, stay tuned. Keep watching. We're dropping those MSRP stickers so you guys get an exact idea of what comes on these cars and that MSRP price on top. Now let's go ahead and talk 2024 Atlas. So let's kick this comparison video off with talking some specs. Now, what is new in the 2024, first of all? Now, they get rid of the four-cylinder 2.0 that they had prior to this in the 2023 and the V6 that they also had. And they now come standard in a 2.0 liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine, 16-valve, eight-speed transmission. That gives you fourth 269 horsepower with 273 pounds feet of torque. A little bit about the MPG is going to be 19 city, 25 highway, and a 21 combined, everybody. And again, now that they have the same exact engines going across all trim lines, the towing capacity still st stays the same at 5,000 pounds of towing capacity. And we're going to be showing you guys that tow package hitch in the back later on in the video. But let's go ahead and shut this hood and talk comparisons and new front end of the 2024 Atlas SEL compared to the SE tech package. And what do we see that's different right off the bat for the ones who would like to know differences between SEL trim and SE with tech package? Okay, grill. The grill here, you see these little longer rectangles. They come with the chrome face plate. Okay, that's going to be different. Now the SEL is a higher trim. The SC with tech is a little bit lower trim, so it's a two trim step down, and that is going to have a piano black face there on those small rectangles, okay? Lighting. Lighting here on the SEL with tech package, you do not have the IQ light, and what do I mean by that? If you take a look at that top compartment there, you don't have that first jewel eye, okay? There on the front. But here on the SEL higher trim, you get that second jewel eye and both come with that kind of uh, cleaner, more exquisite look. IQ light will literally be stamped on the interior side of that headlight. Now, moving forward right off the bat, the, the, um, the tires. On the SE with tech package, they're running Kumo tires and the size is 255-50-20s to wear here on the SEL, which is a higher trim again, is a Continental Cross Contact, which again is a better tire than Kumo 255 50 20. Continuing forward, we have on the SEL heated, heated uh, windshield washer nozzles, and that is here under, to where the SE with tech package doesn't get those heated. And yes, if you find yourself going up to the mountains, you're skiing or snowboarding, that literally does play a role because sometimes your nozzles will freeze. So take that into consideration. Heads up display, SEL gets the heads up display, SE does not get the heads up display. Moving forward, up top, sunroof or moonroof on the SEL with chroma roof rails, SE with tech package, no sunroof, and it has that kind of matte black roof rail, okay? Coming down, there is uh, pretty much nothing different on the side mirrors that meets the eye. What do I mean by meets the eye? Nothing changes between lighting, blind spot assist. But the only difference is, is when we get to the interior side of the car, and we're going to be talking about the memory seating that the driver's seating has, this is also put into that driver's seat memory seating to where it literally uptakes your memory or what you set it at as a driver. Moving forward down here near the rocker panels areas is going to be 
chrome trim on the SEL to where the SE just has that matte black plastic. Okay, so a little bit richer look on the uh, SEL trim. Now, moving forward to the rear ends. Now, I don't like to be boring or be simple, but the rear ends are not different, okay? But what do we see different from 2023 over to 2024? We get that full LED bar going across here. Now, that is something that they added along with the headlights and the you know, make the stylish, stylish makeover between the front fascias and the headlights to over here on this LED tail light bar, okay? Coming over here, again, similar, but just wanted to show you guys the different looks. If you want a more in-depth review of what the 2023 looked like over to the 2024, check out our other video here at Vagabond Builds. Now let's go ahead and open the cargo areas. Both atlases come with a hands-free tailgate, okay? There you go. You, you get that in both, SE with tech package and SEL. Nothing different inside the cargo area, okay? But if anybody who'd like to know about cargo space, cargo space with all three rows up is about 21 cubic feet of space with the two rows down, the third and the second row, you get a whopping about 96 to 97 cubic feet of space in both, okay? You get a full size spare tire. Wanted to show you guys that because we do get comments and questions. A full size spare tire, and that is under here, this map. Go ahead and show you that. There you go, full size spare tire with all your tire situation going on. Honestly, I like the idea of having a spare tire just in case you're not trapped in the middle of nowhere, all right? Now, closing that, not even gonna go into the SEL because similar, okay? Now, let's go ahead and jump to the interiors and talk similarities and differences on the insides. So now sitting inside the SE with tech package and right off the bat, what do we see that's different? Now, not to forget to mention that in between the SE tech package and the SEL, you have a, what they call peak edition with tech package, okay? So anybody who'd like to know that, but, SC to tech package, what do we see that's different? So I go ahead and get that right off the bat to you guys. Let's talk about the seating. The seating, you have the memory seating on the driver's seat in the SEL to where the SC with tech package, you do not have that. Also, the passenger seating comes manual controls in the SC with tech to where the SEL comes with electric, electric controlled passenger seat. And then also what dresses the seating and the design. Here has the VTEX leather ray, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, to where the SEL has the Vienna leather wrap. Now the stitching design is also different, so pay attention to the design as well. Now, door panels, what's different? The illuminated door pockets in the SEL, you have a little light in the SEL too, whereas the SE with tech doesn't also the ambient lighting in the SC with tech, you don't get any ambient lighting to where the SEL you have up to 30 different colors of ambient lighting. As mentioned also on the outside, something that is different is the heads up display. SC does not have heads up display to where SEL has heads up display. Up top, above your center console, sunroof and moonroof, none in the SC tech package. And what does that do to our little control panel here? you do not have the little slide or touch sensitive slide bars to control that sunroof and moonroof. But overall, everybody, I wanted to kind of talk a little bit about what's new in the 2024. And again, with everything kind of being simplified from shift knob to touch sensitive control panels, 12 inch infotainment screen and a full digital dash, it is just marvelous what the Volkswagen does with their new 2024 atlases. And everybody, I have to just give it to them. I like the new look compared to the old look. It is just feeling like we're with the times. You're coming in with kind of a techie, more futuristic feel, classy and minimalist look on the interior side. Now let's go ahead and shoot over to the second row seating and show you guys what's different and a quick space test, and then we'll jump into the SEL. All right, so second row seating in the 2024 Atlas SE with tech package. Let's go ahead and sit inside shut this door now again right off the bat the wrapping around the seats with the design stitching that is different vtex sel comes with the vienna 
And then heated seats. You do not get heated seats on the SE Tech package on the second row to where the SEL comes heated seats. But I wanted to kind of give you guys a quick overview with the USB-C plugins, 115 volt inverter, pockets on the back of those front seats. Space test, I'm about six feet, two inches. Completely good on the space test, head and leg room. You got your sun visors here and you know, your O snap handles, those are all similar. The main differences is literally the leather AVTEX and the heated seats on the second row seating. Jumping in the back, in which way do we control these seats? So I go ahead and show you guys is you control this seat here from the shoulder area, the lower kind of elbow area there also, and then you have the lever here in the front to where you will control that. Uh, seat going forward and back, but let's go ahead and pop this bunny hop this seat forward And one thing that's pretty cool about the Volkswagen is you don't have to um, Kind of worry about this flinging back at you because you literally have to lift that handle or the lever to bring that back Okay, so I mean that could be a plus or a negative for people. I mean, it's all preference, right? So this is what it looks kind of in a standard position. We can bring that second row seat back, but again, it's going to be a little bit more claustrophobic back here, but we know in a lot of these SUVs, third row seats do compact, okay? If you have the all wheel drive, now something I want to mention to you on the 2024 Atlas is that if you have the all wheel drives, you get a third row USB-C port system. Here you get two of them on the driver's side. That is all-wheel drive st uh, standard to where if you get the front-wheel drive, you do not have the USB-C plugins, and you will not have the remote start in the front-wheel drive. But if you do get the all-wheel drive, you also have the remote start on the key itself or the key fob, okay? So this is SC with Tech Package. Let's go ahead and jump into the SEL and show you guys that. Now inside the SEL trim, and again, wanted to show you guys what we were talking about. So on the seating itself, we have the three button memory seating here on the left hand side of the driver's seat. You have the electric controlled passenger seating, and then the Vienna leather perforated with the different style stitching, okay? Take that into consideration. This is more of a richer look on the SEL being the higher trim. The door panel, you have the lighting here in the pocket area with the ambient lighting itself, 30 colors change option, okay? The heads up display as mentioned on the outside of the car, the moonroof or sunroof with the tilt slider, uh, tilt and slide sunroof option all the way over to that second row seating and you have the control panel here, you get those at, which kind of changes that control panel uh, between the SC Tech and the SEL trim, okay? And also the SC Tech no navigation tour with the SEL, you have the navigation option, okay? Now, again, looks a bit richer in the SEL, wanted to kind of bring the idea of the new 2024 with that kind of dual stage vent and that wood look, piano black coming together with the leather. It is just a beautiful look with the new shift knob it's just phenomenal you have the wireless charging pad standard in both trims usb c's your touch sensitive panels here now if you want a more in-depth review check out our other video at vagabond builds if you want to learn more about the car shoot over to nilo volkswagen in sacramento and they have guys that'll sit there and spend their time with you okay but just very cool interface uh it is touch sensitive i'm gonna show you guys that but you can also swipe with your hand. Let me go back home and show you guys that. Check this out. You're literally swiping with your hand. That is just super cool, okay? And that's in both cars. That is standard in the SC with tech and in the SCL. The full digital cluster screen, and you can also go through info cards and show you guys that. You can set your settings. Operating temps, go to the right. We can take away those displays. And then you could also integrate navigation and all that good stuff here, all right? But just overall, just a beautiful car. We're not going to jump in, uh, to the second row or third row seating because the same idea. This being the all wheel drive, you get the third row USB-C plugins, but the heated seats on the second row is something that you would take into consideration between SC Tech and SEL. Now, as promised, here is the MSRP stickers to both cars. The SC with Tech packages first. 
take a look at that and get an idea with that price tag on top. And then here is the MSRP sticker with the SEL trim and get a load of that one also. We truly appreciate you guys watching. Remember, tap that like button, subscribe to our channel because we truly appreciate your guys' support at Vagabond Builds. Keep watching. Any comments, questions, concerns, leave in the comment section below. We'll try to get back to you guys as best as possible. God bless you.